And good evening. I think we're live. Yes, it's a good evening. Uh, happy Tuesday. Hope you enjoyed the bank holiday. Um, so today it is Ashtanga, uh, Ashtanga Flow Day. So we're going to be going through a nice um, variation of the Ashtanga method. So, as always, this is going to be a condensed version of the primary series, and we're going to chuck in some second series postures as well, just for good measure. Um, it's going to be available to most people. Um, as always, with the yoga practice, please go at your own pace. If you need to rest, please rest. Please just, just uh, keep control of the breath, and... Uh, and uh, yeah, don't push too hard. So remember, it's a moving meditation first and foremost. Um, it isn't the time to just really punish yourself and push yourself, okay? So just keep that in mind as we go through the class. And, and it should be a nice class. So um, and to finish in about an hour's time. Um, let's come to a comfortable seated cross-legged position to begin. As always, if you need to sit on a blanket or a little block, just to elevate your hips a little bit, go ahead and do so. And let's bring our hands into chin mudra, tips of the forefinger, so I'm touching. Rest them on the knees, palms facing up, we'll close the eyes now. And just begin to settle in. And as you let go of your day, And just take a moment to notice how you feel. Just bring your awareness to your seat. Notice where your body connects to your mat. And root in through your seat. Let's rise up through the spine, nice and tall. Reach through the crown of the head, soften the shoulders away from the ears. Soften the eyes, the face, the jaw, the tongue. And we'll start to deepen the breath. Firstly, taking those big belly breaths. As you start to wake up in the lower part of the lungs and then start to move that breath up into the chest and the shoulders. And see if you can find length in that breath. See if you can find width to the breath, armpit to armpit, feeling the ribs expand away from each other. And see if you can find depth to the breath. From the back all the way through to the sternum. And now a full three-dimensional breath. Length, width and depth. Bring your hands into Anjali Mudra at our heart center. And we'll begin the practice as always with our opening mantra, our invocation of gratitude. Take an inhale. Exhale. Inhale for all. Oh.
Vande Guru Nam Charanar Vinde Sandara Shita Swatma Sukhava Bode Nishreyase Jangalika Yamane Samsara Hala Hala Moha Shantie Abahu Guru Shakaram Shankachakrasi Darinam Sahasara Shirasam Shwetam Pranamami Patanjali hands back into Chimudra. Let's come back to the breath. Start to activate your Ujjayi breath now. Start to breathe with sound. You can straight the back of the throat slightly. And for the next 60 minutes, staying in control of your breath. Gently opening the eyes, take the hands forward, shift weight into the hands, send the feet back, find your high plank. Strong through the core, tuck the tailbone under, inhale. Exhale as you lower down through Chaturanga Dandasana, drop to the knees first, here if you need to. Inhale, upward facing dog, open the chest, lift the gaze. And exhale, downward facing dog. Hold your downward dog. As always, your chance now to pedal the legs. Move your hips. Just allowing yourself some freedom in the downward dog. Just to explore your areas of tension this evening. Those feet, hips width apart. And as always, aiming to get a nice long spine in your downward dog, bend the knees if you need to. Look between the hands, inhale, walk the feet to the hands, feet together, extend through your spine, halfway lift, look up. Exhale, forward fold, head comes in. Inhale to come all the way up to standing, arms touch, gaze to your thumbs. And exhale, Samastiti here, hands by your side, preparing for three rounds of Surya Namaskar A and two rounds of Surya Namaskar B. Inhale, raise the arms, strong through the legs, palms touch, gaze up to your thumbs. Exhale, fold forward from the hips, hands come to the mat, pull the head in, lift the sit bones. Inhale, extend through the spine, look up, lean forward into the hands, and exhale, step or jump the feet back, find your high plank, and lower down with control, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog, open the chest. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale. Exhale. One, inhale. Exhale. Two, inhale, navel to the spine, Udi and Amanda engaged. Exhale. Three, inhale, wrap the triceps under, press hands into the mat, exhaling for four. Inhale. Exhale, five, working between the hands. Inhale, jump or step feet to the hands, extend spine, look up. Exhale, forward fold, head comes in. Inhale to come all the way up to standing. Palms touch, gaze to your thumbs, reach. And exhale, Samasti D. And again, Akam. Inhale, find length through the spine, drive the feet into the mat. Way to exhale as you forward fold. Draw the navel in, pull the head in. Trini, inhale, extension through the spine, look up. 
And check worry, exhale, jump or step the feet back, find your high plank and lower down. Punch up, inhale, upward facing dog, strong legs. Shut, exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale. Exhale. One, inhale fully. Exhale completely. Two, inhale, lift the sit bones nice and high. Exhale. Three, inhale. Exhale. Four, inhale. Exhale. Five, look between the hands. Sapta, inhale, jump or step the feet forward, feet together, extend the spine. Ashta, forward fold, head comes in. Nava, inhale to come up. Palm stretch, gaze to your thumbs. And exhale. Sound the to heal. Last one. Ekam, inhale. Away, exhale, move with the breath. Trini, inhale, find the left. And just worry, exhale, jump or step the feet back, high plank, lower it down, chuck the right back. And chuck, inhale, upward facing dog, strong legs, lift the thighs. Shut, exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale. Exhale. Gaze into your navel, Navi Chakra, inhale. Gaze into your navel, Navi Chakra, inhale. Exhale. Two, inhale. Exhale. Three, inhale. Exhale. Four, inhale. Exhale. Five. Look. Another inhale to come up. Arm stretch is to your thumbs. And exhale. Sadness DD. Come into Surya Namaskar B. Bend the knees. Sink into a deep squat. Raise in the arms, palms touch. Arch the back. Gaze to your thumbs. Inhale in. And exhale as you forward fold. Inhale, extend the spine again, look up, lean forward, and chuck worry. Exhale, jump or step those feet back, high plank, lowering down with control. Inhale, upward facing dog, open the chest, look up, and exhale, downward facing dog. Your left heel pivots to your center line, the right foot steps forward. Inhaling as you come into your warrior one, your Virabhadrasana A. Exhale, hands come back down, step the foot back, and lower down, chat their anger. Take extra breaths if you need them. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Right heel put to your center line, left foot steps forward. Ikada shot, inhale, drive into your left heel, reach. Dwarda shot, exhale, hands come back down, step the foot back, and lower down. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale. Exhale. One, inhale. Exhale. Two, inhale. Exhale. Soft in the back of the neck. Inhale, exhale, four, inhale, exhale, five, look between the hands, inhale, jump or step feet to hands, extend spine, look up, exhale, forward fold, head in, bend knees, inhale, Utkasana. And exhale, so let's do the last round, bend knees, inhale, exhale, forward fold, 
Trini, inhale, extend the spine, look up, halfway lift. And Chakwari, exhale, jumping or stepping your feet back, high plank, lower down with control. Keep that core switched on. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Left heel pivots, right foot steps forward. Sapta, inhale, coming up. Spin those left ribs to the top of the mat. Exhale, hands back down. Step the foot back and lower down. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Right heel pivots, left foot steps forward. Inhale, coming up. Spin the right ribs to the top of the mat. Exhale, hands back down, set the foot back, and lower down. Inhale, upward. Exhale, downward. Breathe in, inhale. Exhale. One, inhale. Exhale. Two, inhale. Exhale. Three, inhale. Exhale. Four, inhale. Exhale. Five, look between the hands. Inhale, jump or step feet to hands, extend spine, look up. Exhale, forward fold, head in. Bend knees, sat to the shot, inhale, gaze to your thumbs, your utkatasana. And exhale, sama stiti hi. Have a breather. If you need to, we're going to jump or step the feet, hips width the pot. Bend the knees as much as you need to as we fold forward to take hold of the big toes. Peace, fingers, and thumb. Inhale to find length through your spine, look up. And exhale, pulling on those toes. Crown of the head comes towards the mat and pull yourself into your forward fold. And we'll hold five breaths. One, tip the weight forward slightly into the balls of the feet. Two, and those elbows are drawing back either side of the legs. Deep breathing for three, the navel is in. Use your core strength here to pull yourself a little bit deeper. Four. Five. Inhale, straight arm, straight back. Exhale, bring hands underneath the feet, palms facing up. This is too much. You can continue with the previous posture, taking hold of the big toes. Inhale, find length through your spine. And exhale, fold. Control in that breath. One. Can you connect the armpits towards your hips? Draw the shoulders or the shoulder blades down the back for two. And again, tip in that way forward. Three. Can you press toes into the wrists? Four, five, inhale, straight arm, straight back, exhale, samas, deep, deep, jump, feet together, hands by your side, coming into Utita Trikonasana, Ekam, step back with the right foot, finding your starfish, so the feet are about three of your own feet apart, arms up to shoulder height, inhale here, and as we exhale, pivot on the heel of the right foot, turn the foot out. Check your heels are still aligned. Soften the knees and reach to take hold of the big toe if it's available. Otherwise, you're taking a variation hand onto the shin. Or we can be here. This is all good. Just working into those hips, working in. It's all finding length through the spine, length through the lower back. Five. Exhale, look down towards the foot. Soften the knees. Inhale, press the mat away from back to your starfish, and exhale to the other side. Pivot on the left heel, turn the foot out, soft knees as you reach, take hold of the big toe again if it's available, or you're taking a variation. Right arm reaches high, gaze tip of the right hand for your drishti, your focus point, one. Can you tie that right hip to the right heel, two. 
really feeling the connection between your feet and the mat for three think of your feet like roots press through those feet rise up through the body for four five exhale looking down soft knees inhale press the mat away come to your starfish and exhale let's take it into v so pivot in on that right heel turn the foot out again we're going to swing the right hip back so the hips and chest are square to the back of the mat dive forward twist full posture left hand comes down outside of the right foot if you can't do this with the knees bend use a block or you can use a chair or you can just take hold of that uh, right shin the right arm reaches high if you're going well or you're keeping right hand on the lower back and just working into twisting the upper back here gaze up to the tip of the right hand if you can for three stay nice and long through the spine four make sure you're grounding through that back foot Five, exhale, looking down, soft knees, inhale, press the mat away, come back to your starfish, and exhale to the other side. So spinning on the heels, so left foot is pointing forward, diving forward over that left leg and twisting. Right hand comes down outside of the left foot now, or again you're using a block, you're taking the leg, whatever feels good. If you're a little bit wobbly here, bring that right hand inside, or you can step that right foot out a little bit just to widen your base. Hopefully that helps with the balance here. And we'll hold for three. Draw the navel back. Four. Five. Exhale, looking down. Soft knees. Inhale, come back to your starfish. And staying here. Let's heel to those feet. A little bit wider. Take another inhale. And as we exhale, pivot on the heel of the right foot again, turn the foot out. Knee bends over the ankle this time. Your elbow drops to your knee for your option one. Our extended side angle posture. Left arm comes underneath and overhead. Spiral in the chest, open to the ceiling and lifting the gaze if it feels okay in the neck to gaze towards the tip of the left hand. Staying for two. Remember it's a hip opener as well. Try not to allow that back foot to roll to the inside. Keep the inner arch lifted. Keep that left hip peeling open, peeling back. For four, take full posture. If it's in your practice, hand can come down onto the mat outside of that right foot. Five, exhale, looking down to the foot. And then inhale, press the mat away, come back to your starfish. And exhale to the other side. Pave it on the left foot. You can just check that that right foot stays parallel, short side of the mat. The left knee comes over the ankle. Elbow drops to the knee for your option one, or you're taking your full posture. Right arm underneath, overhead. Extended arm and extended leg in one straight line. Peel the chest open. Gaze up, tip of the right hand. One. Keep external rotation in that right shoulder. Two. Three, strong through the legs. Four, space through the body. Five, exhale, looking down. Inhale, going back to your starfish. Let's hold it here. Turn the toes in slightly. So on the outsides of the feet parallel with the short sides of the mat, bring hands to hips. Inhale, <clears throat> open the chest. Coming into our forward fold. Exhale as you fold forward, bringing hands to the mat, shoulder distance apart. Inhale, find length through the spine, look up, straight arm, straight back. And then exhale, fold forward from the hips, crown of the head reaches down. If your elbows are starting to bend, you can move the hands back between the legs. But keep the heels of the hands connected to the mat and press the hands forward. Just check the elbows don't start to peel out to the side. Keep the engagement through the shoulders, through the chest. Staying for three. Lengthen through the spine. Four. Five. 
Inhale, straight arm, straight back, look up. Exhale, flex your spine, look to your navel, bring hands to your hips. Inhale to roll all the way up to standing. And exhale. Inhale, take the arms out to a T. Coming straight into Prasarita Padottanasana C. Exhale, interlace the fingers behind the back. Palms towards each other. Inhale, draw the shoulder blades together. Send the hands away from you. And as you exhale, fold forward from the hips. Subtle knee bend as you fold, just to support the knees as we come into the posture. And then just allowing gravity to do the work here for you in the arms. Staying for one. And again, keep reaching the crown of the head down. Two, we don't want the spine to be rounded here. Three, just keep working length through the spine. Four, we lift in the inner arches of the feet, work the leg strength. Five, look to your neighbor, the tail of the exhale. Inhale, roll it all the way to standing. And exhale, hands back to the hips. Inhale, let's fly the arms high, send the hips forward, open up, reach back, and exhale, hands back to the hips. We'll make our way into D. Inhale, find length through the spine. Exhale, folding forward. And this time, catching the big toes, peace, fingers, and thumb. If you can't get to the big toes, you can take ankles or shins or return to the first posture with hands on the mat. Inhale, find length through your spine. And exhale, crown of the head comes down. If you have the big toes, pull on the big toes. Just check that the wrists don't start to lean into the mat. Keep the back of the hand in line with the arm. And let's hold for two, three. We think of that armpit hip connection. Four. Shoulders pull away from the ears. Five. Inhale, straight arm, straight back, look up. Exhale, look to your navel, hands come to your hips. Inhale, so roll all the way up to standing. And exhale, let's heel toe those feet a little bit closer together. Let's come straight into Poj Watanasana. So I'm going to turn to face the back of the mat. So right foot is parallel with the long side of the mat. Left foot about 45 degrees to the right foot. Pull the right hip back. We're going to take our hands up into reverse namaskar, reverse prayer, if it's available. If it's not available in your body, you can't bring the hands together behind the back, then just take hold of opposite elbows or opposite wrists. Inhale, find the length through the spine. As you exhale, again, a subtle knee bend as we fold forward over the extended leg. So flex the spine as you fold. And then on your inhale, try to lengthen the spine, lengthen through that right leg as much as you can. And we'll hold for one, two, just getting a good stretch to the back of the legs here. Three, see if you can tip most of your weight into that front foot. Keep drawing the right hip back. Four. Five, as you exhale, flex the spine, it'll bend through that right knee. Inhale to come all the way up, switching the feet to the other side. Usually this is done all on the exhale, so we fold forward. Uh, or on the inhale, sorry, so we fold forward on the exhale. We're going to have a little rest here. We'll take another inhale. Okay, just check that your alignment is good. The hips and the chest square to the top of the mat. And then exhale. Bend into that left knee. Flexion through the spine as you fold in. And then straighten through that left leg. Lengthen through the spine. And we'll hold for one. And again, think of tipping the weights into that left foot, but stay grounded through that back heel. Two. And again, hands in reverse prayer here. The three. Four. 
And five, flexion through the spine, it'll bend through that left knee, inhale to come all the way up. We'll open our arms out, find our starfish, and exhale, stepping back, juice our mizikdihi at the top of our mat. And ready for some balancing. Arutita has the panakushtasana. So as always, your option to take whatever variation feels good in your body. Uh, if you go for the big toe, if you know you can take the big toe, remember to lift the leg up and then take the big toe. So try and do it with control. Otherwise, we've got some variation. So jump or step the feet hips width apart and catch the waist. Just check that the chest is nice and open and you're grounded through the feet. Our left foot, the toes are spread and there's equal weight on the ball and the heel of the foot. Let's bend the right knee. Reach around the outside of the right leg. See if you can take hold of the big toe. If no, look. Interlace fingers in front of the right shin. If you have that big toe, extend that leg as much as you can and we'll hold for one. As always, if you're going full posture, fold forward over that extended leg. Two. And just check that that left elbow isn't coming out to the side if you're in full posture. For three, pull it back. Keep the chest nice and open. Four. Five. Inhale, straighten up if you fold it over that extended leg. And exhale, leg opens to the right. So again, I'm doing the variations here. And then we're gazing over to the left if you can. So you're just shifting the gaze over the left shoulder. One. Just working into the inner groin whilst working on that balance, whilst working on that strength in that standing leg. Two, three, find length through the body. Four, five, inhale, leg comes back to center. Exhale, knee to nose touch. Keep hold of the big toe if you have the big toe. And inhale. Coming back up, releasing the leg or the foot straight in the leg. Hold one, two, three, four, and five. Bend the knee, release. And give yourselves a shake, give it a wiggle. And we're going to try the other side. So remember, whatever, wherever you got to in the right side, maybe it doesn't happen in the left. The body is a little bit different, left to right side, you always have a dominant, uh, more dominant side. So if it works, it works. If you fall out, don't worry. We need to fall out. If we don't fail, we don't know where our limits are. We don't know where the right position is. So if you fall out, it doesn't matter. Again, just find a fixed point ahead to help keep your balance. And bend the left knee this time. Take hold of the big toe or interlace fingers in front of that left shin. As you exhale, if you have that big toe again, straighten that left leg as much as you can. And again, maybe you're folding over that extended leg. One, two, three, four, deep breathing, make sure you're in control of the breath. Five, inhale, exhale, leg opens to the left, gazing over the right shoulder, pause your drishti, or again, if you sense you too much off balance, just keep your gaze ahead. One, two, try to keep the hips square to the top of your mat. Three, four, five, Inhale, leg comes back in. Exhale, head comes towards the knee, knee to nose touch, or we try. And inhale, releasing the foot or the leg, extend the leg, hold. One, two, three, four, and five. And then knee release. Give yourselves a wiggle. We're gonna skip out the next balance. Let's come into Utkatasana. Let's come into Utkatasana, Virabhadrasana A and B through a full sun salutation. 
Feet together, big toes touching, Sam is deep, deep. Inhale as you raise your arms, find length. Exhale, folding forward from the hips, your deep fold. Inhale, extend the spine, look up. And exhale, jumping or stepping the feet back and lowering down, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, jump or step the feet to the hands, feet together, knees together, sinking down and finding your Utkatasana. Holding for one. Arch through the back. Two. See if you can sing through those heels. Three. Reaching out through the fingertips. Four. Five. Exhale as you fall forward. Your chance for a handstand, a little tuck handstand here if you wish. Or inhale, find length through your spine. And exhale, step or jump the feet back, find higher plank and lower down. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Left your pivot center line, right foot steps forward. Inhaling as you come up into your warrior one. Vira Badrasana B. Spiral that left hip forward, the left chest forward, palms touch for two. Gaze up to your thumbs, your drishti. Three. Four. Five. Inhale, straight to the right leg. Pivot on the heels and switch the feet to the other side. The left knee bends over the left ankle. And again, we're spiraling that right side of the body forward. One. Two, find length through your spine. Three, four, five. Opening the arms up and making your way into your warrior two. Sinking into the hips, left knee over the ankle. Soften the shoulders, gaze over left hand. And we'll hold for two, three. Just check that that left thigh tracks in the same direction as the foot. Four. So you should be able to see your big toe. Five. Inhale, straighten the left leg. Pivot on the heel, switch the feet to the other side, and exhale, right knee bends over the right ankle. Gaze tip of the right hand. One. And again, just check in that this left thigh or this left hip is opening for two, that they're not collapsing into that left foot, and that hip isn't dropping down. For three. Four. And five, exhale, wimble the hands either side of the front foot. Your chance for a little kick handstand if it's in your practice. Otherwise, stepping both feet back, finding your high plank, and exhale as you lower down. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Come in to sit. Jump in, step in, all kneeling through to a seated straight legged position. We're going to skip up Hashimottanasana, Pavottanasana. We're going to come straight into hip opening this evening. So, starting with Baddha Baddha Padma Pashimottanasana or Janushasana A, depending on how open your hips are. Let's bend the right knee, bring heel to the buttock, knee falls out to the side. So, sole, sole of the right foot onto the inner left thigh. This is your option one if you're a little bit tight in the hips. Your option two is to pick the right foot up. Just open the hip, pull the right knee back, then point the toe, pull the heel towards the navel and drop your foot into your half lotus position. 
Don't force it if it doesn't happen. And if it's too much, you can just bring the right foot above the left knee. Or again, come to that previous posture. Left leg strong, inhale. Exhale, fold forward from the hips. Keep the heart open. Try not to allow the chest to collapse, allow the upper back to round reach. Take the foot if you can take the foot. Otherwise, we're just taking the shin, the ankle, and we'll stay here. One. If you're binding, you take the left wrist behind the foot. The two. And your drishti is your big toe on that left foot. Three. Also, if you went for the adhibada, you're binding here. The right hand is catching the big toe. For four. Five. Inhale, lift the gaze. Exhale, release the posture. Just coming straight into the other side. Straighten the right leg, bend the left knee. Heel to the buttock, knee falls out to the side. And again, your option one here, or you're taking your half down lotus posture or that variation with the left foot just above the right knee. Then if your foot is in the half lotus, reach round the back, take hold of the bind. If, if you're here, both hands reach towards that right foot. Inhale, find length. And exhale, start to lean forward. So reach in with the heart towards that right foot. Take the foot, the ankle, or the shin, wherever you can get to. And just move with the breath. Relax, relax, relax. One. Remember, it's a moving meditation. Trying to find that sweet spot, making effort, but finding that peace, finding that relaxation. For two, that right leg is staying strong. Pull the toes back to the body. Three. Four. Five. Inhale, lift the gaze. Exhale, release in the posture. Let's come into our twist. Marichyasana C. Right knee bends, heel to the buttock. Now lying heel with your right sit bone. So again, this is the half sitting, half standing posture, or one of the four. We have the right sit bone lifted. In most people, the left sit bone connected to the mat. Bring the right hand behind the back. Try not to lead into that right hand. Try to keep the weight in the hips. The left hand hugs that right knee into the body as you take a twist and gaze over that shoulder, over the right shoulder. And if you know you can go a little bit deeper, maybe that left elbow hooks around the outside of that right leg. Maybe you take your bind, your internal rotation in that left shoulder to catch the opposite hand behind the back. If you can't breathe when you're in your bind, just return to a previous variation. And we'll hold for two. I want you to breathe into your upper back here. So really work between the shoulder blades. Three. And move with the breath. Inhale, find a little bit more length through your spine. Exhale, twist a bit deeper. Four. Five. Inhale, look to the front. Exhale, release. Straighten the right leg, bend the left knee. And again, heel towards the buttock, left hand behind the right back, behind the right back, left hand behind the back, right hand onto that left knee, and you can keep the weight in the hips. Inhale, find length, open up, and exhale, twist. Take whatever variation feels nice in your body. One. Keep the navel drawn towards the spine. Remember the bandages, use them for two. Stay strong through that right leg for three. Just check that the toes are pointed towards the seam, that the foot doesn't start to flop out to the side. Four. Five. Inhale, look into the front. Exhale, release in the posture. Your option is to take a little rest here. Otherwise, take a vinyasa. Cross your legs, pick up, or take the hands forward. Press into the hands, step the feet back, find your high plank. As you exhale, lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, into your upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. 
and inhale to jump or step through to a seated straight legged position. And we're going to find a vasana. So knees together, feet together. I'm going to be kind, just two rounds of the vasana this evening. Shoulders back, chest open, take the hands underneath the thighs. Inhale, lift the feet up, your option one, your option two, your option three, your option four, your full navasana, one, two, three, four, five, cross the legs. If you have blocks, bring the blocks either side of the body. If you're still struggling to lift from the navasana, blocks can really help you start to work the strength in the arms in the core. So blocks either side of the body, hug the knees in, and I want you to think shoulders forward, bum back and up as we lift. Inhale to lift up, exhale to lower down. And we'll do another round of asana. Inhale, one, two, three, four, and five, exhale, release. We'll come straight into Baddha Konasana. Let's bring soles of the feet together. So more hip opening. As always, you can sit on a block here, sit on another rolled up yoga mat. If you're really tight in the hips, if your knees are like this, you're not going to fall forward. You're just going to work on sending those knees as, wide, knees as wide as you can. You can also use the elbows on the thighs to encourage the knees down. If you're a little bit more open in your adductors, you're going to open the soles of the feet up to the ceiling. As if you're reading a book, the elbows come back either side of the body. Let's inhale to find length through the spine. And then exhale, send the heart forward in. Try not to round the spine here. So keep that spine nice and long. And we'll hold for one. And again, think of energetically sending those knees wide for two. Three, just check the shoulders, have them come up to the ears, find that space through the body. Four. Five. Inhale, lift the gaze. Exhale, release. Let's come into wide legged Upavista Konasana. So again, you can send a block if you're using a block here. Just get those sit bones nice and connected to the mat if not. So you might need to move the glutes out from underneath your sit bones. The legs are nice and strong. At just a leg's distance between the heels. So nothing crazy, no box splits. We're going to keep those legs strong. Toes back to the body. Inhale, final length through the spine. Shoulders away from the ears. And exhale as you fold forward from your hips. So again, trying to keep... That chest open, that heart open. Walking the hands down the legs. If you can get to the feet, the full posture is we take the outsides of the feet. Inhale, lengthen in and exhale. And we'll hold for one. The drishti in this posture is the tip of the nose. Two. And think of drawing the hips back as you press the heart forward. Three, again, the navel is back towards the spine. Four, the shoulders are soft. Five, inhale, lift the gaze. Exhale, release the posture. Let's bring those feet back together and we'll come to lie down with control. So hands towards the feet, flexion in the spine, squeeze those bandas as you come all the way down. And let's come into, let's come into back bending. So bend your knees, bring the heels to the buttocks. Draw the shoulder blades under the back. We're going to do three rounds of back bending or back bend variation. So bridge pose. 
If uh, it's always good to warm up your legs first, so I'm going to bridge pose for the first round. And then second round, third round, if you wish to take it into full back bend, you can go ahead and do so. So let's bring the hands by the hips. Again, just check those shoulder blades are under the back. Those feet are parallel with each other, hips width apart, or slightly wider. And when you're ready, as we inhale, let's lift the hips up. So press in through those hips, holding for one. Just check the knees don't start to fall out to the side. Two. So keep the medial rotation in those thighs for three. Four. And five. Exhale, lowering down. Second round. If you want to take full posture now, hands come by the ears. Just check those elbows not coming over the shoulders. They're not wide. If they're wide, maybe try turning the fingers out a little bit towards the outside of the mat, and that should bring the elbows in. So round two and round three. Inhale as you lift up into your full back bend or again into your bridge for one. Relax, relax, relax. Two, deep breaths. And think about what the entire body is doing. For three, the heels are pressing down. The hips are lifting up. Four, can you tuck your tailbone under? Find a little bit more length through the hips. Five, exhale, lower the hips down or come onto the crown of the head if you're in full back bend for our final round. Inhale, lift hips up or whole body off the mat. One, two, Three, squeeze the glutes if you're in bridge. Four, and five, exhale, lower and down. We're not gonna curl ourselves into a wall, we're just gonna take the arms overhead, and we're just gonna relax here. Deep breathing. And now draw the knees into the chest. We'll rock forwards and backwards and make our way back to a seated position. Straighten the legs. And we'll take the forward fold, Paschimottanasana, for our counter pose. So folding forward from your hips again. And again, just take it wherever feels comfortable. You can take the ankles, the shins, or just place the backs of the hands on the mat so you can relax completely. I want you to round the entire back this time. Hold in for two, three, four, five. Inhale, lift the gaze and exhale, making your way back to a comfortable seated cross-legged position. So again, sit on a block if you need to. You can take half lotus or full lotus if it's in your practice. Again, don't rush with the lotus. Protect your knees, always, always. And when we're there, let's bring our hands into chin mudra. Inhale to find length through your spine, soften the shoulders. And exhale, drop the chin to the chest. Closing your eyes. And just focus in on that ujjayi breath, that sound of the sea. And see if you can really slow the breath.
bringing your hands into Anjali Mudra, your heart center. Finishing with the closing mantra and take an inhale. Exhale. Inhale for all. Swasti Prajapyaha Paripala Yantam Nyayena Magena Mahi Mahi Shaha Go Brahmanebya Shubhamastu Netyam Loka Samasta Sukino Bhavantu Save Jena Sukino Bhavantu Samasta Samagalani Santu Loksha Kalyana Sam ready was to Vishva Shanti was to Shanti 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 Hare When you're ready, making your way into your final posture, your Shavasana. Take your heels as wide as your mat and come to lie down with control. Taking up space with the arms, palms facing up. And if you have a blanket or a jumper, please go ahead and wrap yourself up in your blanket or put your jumper on just to keep the energy from your practice locked in, the heat in your body. And just bringing the shoulder blades under the back so the chest is nice and open. Maybe tucking the chin slightly so the back of the neck is nice and long. Just allowing your body now to be heavy and relaxed, completely supported by your mat and by the earth. And releasing your ujjayi breath, releasing the bandhas. Just taking a moment to notice the physical body, noticing the heaviness of the body. And take a moment to notice any sensations that you feel right now. Maybe you can sense that buzzing energy that you've created with the practice. Maybe you can feel the heart pumping the blood around the body. The heat in the hand, the skin. Drawing your awareness to the breath. And just noticing the subtle movements from your breath, your prana, your life force energy. Keeping the focus on the breath. If the mind wanders off, 
Just catch it when it's wandered off and just draw it back to the breath, to the wind in the back of the nostrils. And as always, your option to stay in your Shavasana now as long as you need, as long as your body uh, feels it needs to stay there. It can be 10 minutes, 20 minutes if you wish. Otherwise, we'll take a deep inhale. Exhale the breath, completely connect navel to the spine. Inhale breath into your heart space. And exhale the breath into the fingertips and the toes as you start to wiggle the fingers and toes to bring movement back to your body. Rotating your wrists and your ankles, moving your limbs. Bring the feet, the legs together and take the arms overhead for a full body stretch. And with full extension through your spine, draw the knees to the chest and give yourself a squeeze. Just taking a moment to offer gratitude. For the love of your family, of your friends and your life. For everything you've been given by nature. And show complete acceptance to where you are right now on your yoga journey. So rock into your right hand side when you're ready. And joining me again in a comfortable seated cross legged position. And when we're there, we'll bring our hands into Anjali Mudra to our heart center. Just reconnect to the breath. And before we leave, I'd like you to think of three things that you're grateful for this evening. Maybe a person, maybe your job, maybe an item of clothing. And just show total gratitude to those things. We'll raise our hands to our heads for kindness in our thoughts, to ourselves and to others. Hands to our hearts for kindness in our, all our actions and to our lips for kindness in our words. From my heart to your heart, always, namaste. And thank you for practicing with me this evening. I hope you all feel a little bit more open in your bodies, a little bit stronger maybe, and quiet in the mind. As always, if you enjoyed the video, please like the video. If you didn't enjoy the video, then obviously don't like the video. Um, if you know others that might like my content, then please share my content or share this video with someone that you know. Please subscribe if you haven't yet subscribed. Um, if you are financially stable enough to do so, you can make a small donation. Link to my PayPal is in any of the descriptions of my videos. And uh, yeah, I hope you all are, are well and you are all staying sane in these very weird, strange times that we're in right now. And I really, really look forward to seeing some of you in real life. Um, if you are local to my area in the West Midlands around Wolverhampton, I am now offering one-to-one -one, uh, yoga sessions in nature, so in the outdoors. So it means we can still keep our distance. Um, and uh, yeah, so if there's something that if in your practice that you want to um, focus on or if you feel that you've been months now without a teacher and um, you just want a little bit of guidance, then please contact me. Please feel free to contact me and we'll, um, we'll sort something out. Um, it is only going to be local to, to this area, unfortunately, um, at the moment. Um, but hopefully 
everything will be lifted soon and I can see all your wonderful faces again in real life. But until then, um, yeah, keep well, um, enjoy this wonderful weather that we've been blessed with during the lockdown. And I shall see some of you tomorrow for our Vinyasa Flow. So Vinyasa Flow class tomorrow evening at seven o'clock. Thank you all for joining me. Namaste, namaste, namaste.